time and space, memory and history, body and embodiment are interconnected elements in the art of José Lee Carvalho. We have been living with the risk of an invisible virus, with political unrest, with divisions, uh, with racial injustice, environmental destruction. Actually, all this is happening in Brazil and in the US. I had to find a refuge in the garden. I was fascinated by the contour of the branches and the birds flying over my head, the smell of uh, wet grass and the fermented smell of a lantana flower. I transpose the tranquility of this garden to the gallery. I painted the space in blue to create a meditative space, a memorial. I have used in this installation glass smells and the branches. Actually, this, some of these branches came out from a giant ginkgo tree. And uh, some of these branches fell into my garden. I painted them red to preserve their memory. Birds have been part of my artwork. Since the early 60s, I admire them because I see them as master architects in nature and I am fascinated by the nests. The nest is where the primal sense of smell meets the basic necessity of protection. It's the first place where we start learning how to affect and how to be affected by others. For me, glass is the representation of endangerment. I mold glass as nests and vessels that embrace smells. They become the body of all my installations. The process of manipulating glass is a very sensual action. As I mold the glass, I perceive female and male forms coming about. Breathing is essential to blown glass and at the same time it is basic to the act of smell. The intimacy that glass and smells share embody archetypal memories from very early periods in history. Rather than bringing the birds from the garden into the gallery, I brought uh, the dodo bird, a flightless bird, extinct today, as a metaphor for our own extinction. I then created four smells, encapsulated them in very tiny crystal beads like eggs and placed inside of the sculptures so the public could come in and sense the smell. The smell of burrow is an animalic scent. It's made of dark notes, transporting us to a protective nest inside the earth. Incense too, bring us the freshness of forests and tree resins. Emptiness interprets the discomfort of feeling displaced in space and time. Suspension is the duality of being sheltered and yet facing danger and risk. I perceive this installation as a memorial to our losses. 
we are living in a moment of suspension. 